Though there are a numerous number of references spanning across the Neon Genesis Evangelion series, there are three specific concepts and thinkers I'd like to tackle in this video, all of whom are referenced in the series title cards. The first being the English title of Episode 4 labeled Hedgehog's Dilemma, which is in reference to a concept brought up by Arthur Schopenhauer. The second being the Japanese title of Episode 16, The Sickness Unto Death, known in the English as Splitting of the Breast, which is in reference to a work written by Soren Kierkegaard. And the third being the Japanese title of Episode 26, The Beast That Shouted I at the Heart of the World, also titled as Take Care of Yourself, which is in reference to a short story written by Harlan Ellison. The Hedgehog's Dilemma was proposed by Arthur Schopenhauer and conveys the struggle that individuals endure while trying to be intimate with one another. As the hedgehogs, who try to keep close so as to fend off the cold, they only hurt each other due to the sharp nature of their spines. Though people want to be close and intimate, they generally remain apart so as to keep from being hurt. More importantly, according to Schopenhauer and Freud, who also used the term, mankind cannot help but harm others when undergoing long-term acts of intimacy. The metaphor seeks to explain an individual's need for introversion, as well as the need for separation or isolation. The concept is used in reference to Masato and Shinji's strained relationship, where she states that his attitude is unbecoming of a pilot, causing him to quit nerve and to run away from home. However, much like the desire of the hedgehogs to still remain close, Shinji and Masato re-establish their bonds, and Shinji does not board the train, returning home with Masato at the episode's end. The Sickness Unto Death by Soren Kierkegaard works on equating the concept of despair with that of the biblical concept of sin. The title of the book comes from John chapter 11, verse 4, concerning the story of Lazarus being raised from the dead by Jesus. Kierkegaard comments that since death is not an end stage for Christian forms of thought, and that not being able to die would be the main fear of any Christian, since it would prevent them from experiencing the afterlife, the true sickness unto death thus is not an actual physical death, but rather that of a spiritual death of self, which stems from our failure to embrace ourselves as individuals, thus inevitably leading a person into the pits of despair. Kierkegaard uses the dialectic to compare the finite and the infinite, which man is caught between. Man escapes despair by learning to reconcile or unify these opposites by having what he labels faith, correlating the self with the powers that brought it into being, conveyed through the concept of love. The idea of the sickness unto death could be used to symbolize Shinji's own resurrection after falling victim to the angel by which he is presumed to be dead, as he is absorbed into Lelil's shadow. It is also in reference to Shinji's sense of introspection of his self, and the acceptance of love in the form of his mother's embrace, freeing him from the despair he is experiencing. Episode 26's title is in reference to The Beast That Shouted Love at the Heart of the World, and is a science fiction short story by Harlan Ellison. The story deals with the concept of evil dealing with events on Earth in the alien community known as Concord. The work includes the concept of draining, which is a means of removing the evil essence of said entities and transporting them elsewhere, saving the aliens on the Concord from such an existence. However, it is noted that this has rippling effects that negatively influence life on other planets or reaches in space. In the story, this draining is performed on a seven-headed dragon, a symbol of the great beast of Babylon. However, its dangerous evil essence is not sent to a containment tank as initially planned, but elsewhere. It is revealed in the story that the aliens of Concord have been using the draining method to condense the essence of evil and madness, sending that essence to the planet Earth which when discovered at the story's end, starts World War IV. The story is a commentary on the aspects of saving oneself at the expense of others, and what evil there is in being behind such an action. To the episode itself, though extremely speculative, it could be said that by rejecting instrumentality, Shinji accepts what life has to offer, the good along with the bad, not simply embracing instrumentality so as to cast aside or do away with the evil or maddening aspects of humanity.